I'm on vacation right now. And I thought I'd take a little trip down to this beautiful spot, take in the beauty of God's creation, listen to the birds, and just relax. That's a good thing to do sometimes after you get off a customer support call, like I just did. <laughs> uh, I called Atmex. I had a purchase, an order with Atmex, get canceled. It was an order for 20 silver proof sets of George Washington quarters, five in each. The deal was for uh, $19.99. That was uh, about $2 under spot. It was a deal that was uh, told to me by M. Nice, who was also tipped off to it. I'm someone else in our community. That's what our community is. It's so great at doing, letting people know, letting the stackers know when there's a great deal, right? And this was a great deal. They had it under their deal section. And I thought I was all set when I got the order confirmation. So I decided to call Atmex. I did record it. It was a recorded line, <laughs> both ways. And I, uh, I, I did edit it down so it wouldn't be too laborious for you to listen to. But the salient points are there. And uh, at the very end, I'll tell you where I stand or what the latest is on this saga. What was your first name again? I'm sorry. It's Noah. Noah. Thank you, Noah. I told my um, community about the deal, and there was a lot of interest as well. And everybody started saying, wow, this is a great deal for Matmex. So they ordered uh, several themselves. And I got the confirmation. Things looked good. And then I suddenly get an email saying, your order has been canceled. I, I didn't know Atmex, Atmex would do that. You know, put a deal up, send me a confirmation on an order, and take it down. And they took it down for everyone. I'll tell you right now, there was a lot of upset Atmex customers. Right, right. I, I'm not too sure as to what exactly led to them having the, the, the listing issue that they're I guess basing their reasoning off of what happened. Can you explain explain this to me, so that my viewers, my subscribers that are all upset and had canceled orders, how does this work with Atmex? It seems underhanded that they would honor not honor in a confirmed order. You post it; it's under deals. I don't get why. I don't have too much information because it's mainly a marketing issue rather than something that customer service can really dive really deep into. But from what I've from what I've seen, I've, I've seen this happen occasionally. It's only happened maybe once or twice that I've actually been here. Mm -hmm. um, so I've, I've over a three or four year time frame, it's only happened twice, two or mm -hmm. three times. Um, they are showing that, of course, it was listed with an incorrect price below spot value. I don't know if that means that, actually, you know what, let me go look at this. I'll go look at the product change log, and then I'll just go see mm -hmm. what that marked at. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes when that happens, it's basically whenever somebody goes in, has the wrong price listed for an item that's way below what it's supposed to be selling for, and then they have to make the change or make the correction to fix it. I don't know if that's a blowout deal. I don't know what they purchased, they, you, purchased uh, these particularly right. for so I don't I, 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 I hear you but to me instead of having hundreds of frustrated customers I would say that in and offering a $20 credit which was very nice I would have just honored the 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 the, the deal it wasn't that big of a uh, difference in my in my view uh, in terms of the total cost to Atmex so I'm, I'm curious to why they would do that and you know, it leaves a sour taste in your mouth when you feel like, wow, do I trust this? Do I really want to buy this if I know that they can go back after the fact, do a rewind, a do-over, a mulligan, and say, hey, you know what? <laughs> we changed our mind. We're not going to honor that deal and just pull it out from under us. So I, I want to understand Atmex's view of this. Yeah. yeah. No, I definitely understand. Um, with this, there's... Marking prices at the wrong price actually happens quite frequently. It's just in very specific situations that it maybe is that off that I'm assuming is what causes them to be like, ooh, no, we can't do that, or 
we need to fix this and cancel orders that are tied to it. Like, for example, there was one time um, that there was a web listing issue. Somebody, and this, it, it happened to be somebody new. Um, mm-hmm. They had, they were, they were making a change to the pricing on, I think, a gold bar or something like that. Mm-hmm. And at the time, I think gold was like maybe fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars. So of course, the premium was probably eighty bucks on top of that, or uh, eighty, ninety bucks. So the total price of the bar was supposed to be like, I think like seventeen hundred dollars and like twenty, like I think about the stuff I'm, if I'm yes, remembering sure. correctly it was like seven or one thousand seven hundred and forty and like mm. some cents or something like that, some mm-hmm. change. Right. They had accidentally listed the product to like one hundred and seventy-four dollars, and. I've seen that on eBay. Uh, I've seen that people, in a lot of places. Right. Yep. Right. Uh, people were like, "Oh my goodness, is this like a flash sale or whatever?" And it, it took a few moments for our for our our team and especially customer service because we were we're the main ones making sure that really review orders mm-hmm. being placed. Um, because sales well, after sales places order sales isn't paying much attention to what happens. Their job is to sell. Their job isn't to review or look at issues that are right. created by orders. Mm-hmm. Um, some of us in customer service started getting like notifications of like the customers emailing about the orders or asking questions. And so as soon as, as soon as we caught on to what was going on and in a situation like that, I think the company, even, even though, like you mentioned, it's not the customer's fault that the product is listed incorrectly. Therefore, sure. in a way, like you said, it's one of those things where it's like, well, is the customer really responsible for having to have this canceled and pay for price if it's not their fault? I of course have mixed opinions on it because I'm sure. probably I'd be the person if I ran a business if I had something listed wrong. Yep. Oh well, bite the bullet. You would honor it. Up. If you go, if <laughs> you went, if you went to the oh, store, right. the local Home Depot or something, and you found a, you know, right. a, something, I, and it was I, marked I, I, wrong, you know what the right. store manager right. would do, right? Right. Exactly. And so I, I don't know if I don't know if if Atmex just handles it differently because mm. it's precious metals. I don't know, but they're reasoning or whatever it is I guess that they're thinking is that because of the commodity that it is or whatever it is that that just can't be is there some sort of stated either online or in some other uh, uh, form the policy by which Atmex can after the fact cancel a um, a completed order that I'm not sure on Mm -hmm. Um, it might be true Mm -hmm. um that there is one somewhere. I can try and matter of fact, let me look here. I would really like to see what that policy is. Uh huh. There it is. I knew it was in here somewhere. I just couldn't figure out where. Um, if you just go to atmex.com mm-hmm. backslash user agreement, just all one word, user agreement. If you scroll down to one uh, C. No. Uh, no, it's further. It's further down. Go all the way down to 11. So 10, 11. Like, There's not even like numbers anymore, but it's 11. That, okay, that, okay. 11K. That's what it is. 11K. That that, that qualifies as buried, right? 11K. Uh, <laughs> it is pricing or typographical errors is what they have listed there. Gotcha. I'm assuming that's what they're basing that off of. Honestly, user agreements should be like 10 times shorter so people can actually, so we can like read them whenever <laughs> we buy stuff. Because I can tell you how many times I bought stuff and then read their thing later on. I'm like, God dang it. I'm like, <laughs> like if only I actually, if I actually read this before, right, like, right. you know, tell me times I bought stuff and then be like, oh, this isn't right or this isn't, this, this isn't how it's supposed to be. And then I go yeah. and look later on. I'm like, I've seen this, I've seen this like actually. I've, I've seen this actually uh, play out in a variety of ways. You probably have too. Uh, the thing that comes to mind most frequently for me is a used car dealership or with uh, a lost yes. a lost leader where they'll say, oh, that must have been a typo. <laughs> Oops, that was a mistake. You're it's really like, this. Hmm. Yeah, it, it doesn't leave a good taste in your mouth to say the least. I think Atmex really needs to, sec- uh, to to review this and think about what they're doing with their customers when they, you know, just, you know, say, oh, no, oh, I know we posted it online under a deal section. And it actually showed, you know, what spot price was. It's not like you don't know that and then just not honor it because, oh, it must it was a typo. Um, yeah, I'm not upset yeah. with you, Noah. It's just trying to understand it and it is frustrating. And, you know... I, I, I guess I will highlight that with my uh, viewers so they understand that that is in there, way down, deep. <laughs> with this with this particular order on Monday, is there somebody else that I can talk to 
in terms of this particular order, I mean, we're not talking a whole lot of dollars. And I'm curious, it's not like the gold example that you gave. I was wondering if they could honor it or if it is truly too late. I can definitely try and get you with one of the supervisors if you'd like. Thank you. For you, okay? Thanks, Noah. You're welcome. This is Alicia. Hi, Alicia. Let me just say right off the bat that, that Noah is a great rep. Mm-hmm. Just want you to know. He, really? Yes, great. he did a great job, and uh, he put up with a lot from me. Let me. I don't know. Did he update you as to what, what's transpired here for me? I just know this. you have one of the orders that got canceled. There was a pricing <sighs> issue on the site, and you were one of those. Yeah, I, I know. And one of those. Not that this matters much, but I am a YouTuber and I do have a large following on my community. A lot of people were interested in it and I had told them about it. So I really wanted to get an understanding about what, what, was, what happened and what can be done about it. I do appreciate the $20 credit. I really want to know why I, that wasn't honored. So is there any chance, first of all, is there any chance that it actually can be honored? One of the ones that was involved in actually doing the canceling on mm. one of the supervisors here, but this was decided by the manager above me and the, the VP above that. So the decision was not mine, but that was the decision that was made. They look at how much of a price difference it was, how many are affected, mm. different things like that, and they have to make a decision of is this something we can let go or is this something that they need to cancel, and that was their decision. And they, unfortunately, they have to, you know, they take into consideration that this is not something that makes people happy when this happens, and we know that, and it's going to um, be that, you know, an issue of right. Right. a customer service issue of sure. an unhappy <laughs> customer. Really, and I, I've been there when they're having those conversations, and they, they truly do have to think about, is this a big issue? Is this a small one? How many people are going to be upset? How many, you know, all of those things are taken into consideration for this one. That was what they decided, basically. I really wonder if they grasp uh, that impact on this one. I, I know specifically my manager who was involved, and I know his thoughts and opinions on our customers and all that. Because he's the customer service manager. They have to have sure. always that customer perspective. What, what was his perspective? What, what did he think? I, I wasn't there for the meeting. Oh, okay. I just know that he is definitely thinking of the customer response. Um, the others that were in the meeting, I don't know them as well. I mean, they're my coworkers, but I, I'm not in meetings with them on a regular basis. So I don't know how much they're thinking about the customer perspective. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I know it is taken into consideration. And, and Nick, our manager, does think about that, definitely. Okay. I'm happy to send Nick a request to contact you. Yeah, let me give you my number. And if he wants to reach out to me, that would be great. Thanks very much. You're very welcome. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, there you have it. I haven't received the credit back yet as of the filming of this on Sunday. But uh, I do expect it soon, probably Monday. I also didn't get a phone call from the next level up. But I'm not going to let it ride. I am going to call back on Monday if... uh, I don't receive a call in the morning and I'm going to pursue it. I really want to know why they didn't honor my purchase. Yes, it's deeply buried in their, uh, you know, their, their terms. I understand that, but I also would think that they would want to keep their customers happy. And this is not like a hundred thousand dollar, purchase a massive loss they did analyze it and i think they they underestimated the impact so i will let them uh know again my concerns i will escalate it as far as i need to go i'll go all the way up to the vice president or ceo if necessary i do want to get to the bottom of this and i will let you know what happens thanks so much for watching yankee stacking really appreciate it don't forget to uh hit a thumbs up this is a little different than my usual videos but i hope you enjoyed it and as always i hope your day is a-okay